Listen everyone, I'm here with a very important message. I'm here to tell you about a personal encounter with the living God. Living God. People think that God is somewhere. He's in some type of religion. He's, he's there watching every single move that you make and he's either going to give you a reward or going to punish you. But this is nothing to do with God. That impression is a totally false impression. God is a good God and he is so good that he gave his son for your benefit. He gave his son for your freedom. He gave his son for your resurrection. He died on a cross to give you a life. Friends, about 10 years ago, I thought I was in a good place. I thought I had a good life. I was living in a beautiful country. I was going on holidays on a coral reef in Australia. But I had an emptiness in my heart. I was wondering if there was anything more. I was wondering if there is something more than just shopping and partying. And you know what? I rejected God because I wanted to live life. I thought God was some sort of serious dude that would put a limit on my life. I used to think that he was just illustrating. He was just watching over me and checking everything I'm doing. And I wanted to be free from such a God. So when someone told me about Jesus Christ, I basically shunned them. And I said, I'm not interested in any Jesus. For me, Jesus was part of a Catholic tradition, was part of some serious, heavy duty tradition. And I rejected that tradition. I wanted to be free. I wanted to live life to the fullest. And I didn't care if there was God. Well, I thought to myself, at least I didn't kill anyone. Maybe I wasn't so bad after all. Okay, so I like to party. Okay, so I like, I used to like taking some recreational drugs here and there, but I wasn't so bad. I, I thought I was a pretty good person. But the truth was, and the truth is that every single person is separated from God. It's a little bit like you are born with no eyes and then you say you can't see. It's the same with God. It's the same with God. It seems unreal. When I tell you that I met Jesus Christ personally, it seems like it's some sort of funny history, or funny story. But this encounter has totally changed my life. Because I found something. I found a treasure. I found something so amazing that it eclipses the best experience of my life. I can honestly tell you that nothing compares to personally meeting living God. Nothing compares to it. Your best party, your best romance, your best shopping, your best holiday, nothing compares to the experience of having peace with God. Nothing compares to the experience of freedom inside Jesus Christ. And I'm here to tell you that God desires, desires that you are saved. God desires that your life is transformed. God desires that your eyes open and that you see him because he is God and he's a treasure for everyone that finds him. He's a treasure. He's got the power to change your life completely, to transform your life. 
totally. And friends, I know it. I know it's hard to accept such an information because it's because our minds are filled with religious stuff. But the truth is that there is living God, Jesus Christ. And I met him personally. He changed my life. He healed my life completely. I can honestly tell you that I am happy in my heart. I don't have sad, lonely nights. I have fulfillment in my heart. I have something that nothing in this world can give me. And I'm here. I'm a messenger from God to your life. I'm a messenger to your heart. I'm here for you. I'm here for you so you can be saved. So you can be spared. Because at the moment, your life is heading for death. Your life is heading for death. Every single day, you are closer. Every single day on this earth, you are closer to your death. Yes, God exists. God exists and his name is Jesus Christ and when I look at you I see people that are walking really fast and are walking towards a disaster towards your own disaster towards a place where you regret and I want to stop you I want to stop you from making a mistake I want you to be free because God wants you to be free. Jesus wants you to be free. Jesus wants you to have a fantastic, full life. God is so good. He gave you Jesus. You don't have to be good. You don't have to try. You don't have to make any effort. All you need to do is open your heart. All you need to do is believe. The gospel is so simple. It says, if you believe in your heart, if you believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and he rose in the flesh, and if you make him your Lord, your Savior, your everything, he will come to your life and he will change your life. My friend, these are the words of life. These words have the power to change your life. All, all it needs is for you to want to meet God. All it needs is for you to open your heart and desire the truth. Because Jesus Christ is the truth. If you open your heart, if you believe that he is real and I'm here to testify that he is real I met him personally he's a good God he changed my life he gave me a new life he gave me a spirit of God and that spirit is working on the inside of me that spirit is changing my life I don't need to be afraid of COVID I don't need to worry about, you know, what's going to happen in economy because I have everything I need to live a full life. I have the source, the source, the source is on the inside of me in the form of the Holy Ghost. The source of all life is inside of me. My friend, God desires for you to be saved. Remember, at the moment you are not saved. You are in a dangerous place. But if you call on the name of the Lord, if you call on the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, He will come and your life will be saved. Your life will be resurrected. Your life will be new and your life will be full. Amen.